FPUC Retro. Later this week, when Third Stimulus Package will be debuted by Joe Biden, we will finally see if he's going to do FPUC and when and how and how much. He's represented, it's going to be FPUC Retro back to July of last year. $600 a week, then bringing it up to the president, and then going forward $600 a week. You're currently going forward at $300 a week from December to March 14th. So how is Joe going to fix that and revise it? We'll find out later this week. But in this throwback video, I go over how to ensure that you get FPUC, how you get UI, how you get PUA, and how you make sure you get all the unemployment benefits you need. Enjoy this throwback video on unemployment, on unemployment, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, on Overnight's LL8. All right, New data suggests the immediate need to extend FPUC, that $600 from the federal government ASAP, and new exciting news about an extension of a new deadline under a second stimulus package. Hey everybody, this is LLA with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update, our third of the day. Earlier today, we detailed really shocking news about what will happen on Tuesday. As Steve Mnuchin and Jerome Powell testified before a House committee, during that committee, it is believed that they will detail more elements of what a second stimulus package will involve and whether emergency orders will be issued under the inherent authority of the Federal Reserve or the White House. Next, we detailed a second stimulus package that's actually being unveiled in Idaho and why other states may also start to do the same. But let's get to this video, which talks about FPUC, PUA, and UI. As always, our third video of the day always covers that subject matter, but new, shocking, and troubling details about what's going on with FPUC and new twists about uh, a new foreclosure moratorium, which might actually be great. So here you go. If you don't know, if you're on UI or you're on PUA, you're getting that $600 from the federal government. It's called FPUC. It expires uh, on July 25th, 2020. Now, what yesterday's video did, and boy, you really watched it, was the problem with the expiration is the CARES Act says on or before July 25th, 2020. It doesn't say on July 25th. And so there's a concern due to, uh, detailed by several analysts that several states may not pay the last week because of when their benefits week expires. Every, every state has a different date, that uh, day of the week that their benefits window stops. And so there's concern that some states may not pay the last week, but the bigger concern is not even that. The bigger concern is what's going to happen. Many believe that there is an emergency need to extend FPC right now. And I'll tell you why. There are several economic data uh, points that came out in the last two days that are so serious that suggest that FPUC needs to be expanded or extended right away. What are they? One, the labor numbers on Thursday. The labor numbers on Thursday showed that uh, unemployment numbers are not improving. It re revealed that new jobless claims for unemployment assistance passed 1 million new claims for the 14th consecutive week bringing unemployment still at about 13% when it was about 3% pre-pandemic. Second, Friday, 45,000 new COVID-19 cases uh, announced and a growth of COVID-19 cases at about 5% in several 
big, big states that comprise a large amount of the U.S. economy. It's those two datas that shows that more people are going to be unemployed than ever before thought. If you have COVID-19, you can't work. If you live with someone that has COVID-19, you probably also can't work. PUA, as you know, covers someone that lives with a person that has COVID-19. PUA covers a person who takes care of someone who has COVID-19. So uh, the, when you have one person on COVID-19 in a household, even if the other people are totally healthy, which often they aren't, they are qualified for uh, for unemployment assistance as well. So with COVID cases increasing, unemployment increasing, what is going on here? There's a deep concern that the July 25th date of ending PUA, FPUC, that's six hundred dollars from the federal government of the CARES Act, is going to be a financial destruction. Earlier this week, financial analysts detailed really what's going on. That they think that with rising COVID cases, with rising unemployment, you have to pay the six hundred dollars from the federal government after July twenty fifth, or there could be financial ruin in the United States. Why do they think this? It's basically a lot of things on a food chain. And here you go. As you know, in late July, the rent moratorium, the, the moratorium that prevents evictions of people who can't make rent, is lifted. So all these people who get laid off, all these people getting COVID-19, all these people who are unemployed can start being evicted in late July. What's going to happen, however, is the landlords who evict them won't have that rent because the people don't have the money. The landlords also have a big problem, and that is that what is called a foreclosure moratorium, that foreclosure moratorium may get lifted in late July as well. So their lenders, the people that gave them the mortgages for these properties, are going to start default, are going to start uh, foreclosing on these landlords' properties. The banks are then going to have all these mortgages that are in foreclosure, and the banks are going to have liquidity problems. You see how this all snowballed? Simply because the $600 per week check was not paid by the federal government. Here's the good news. The good news is that, and this is really, you know, minutia of good news, is that there is hope that homeowners of a federally backed mortgage experiencing COVID-19 financial, uh, financial strain can request a 12-month of forbearance on their mortgage payments. And that Fannie and Freddie Mae backed mortgages are now considering to be extended to at least August 31st, 2020. Those were extended, those Fannie and Freddie Mae mortgages, these are federally backed mortgage properties. They initially had a 60-day moratorium, a foreclosure moratorium, which was extended from March 18th to May 17th. It was then extended to June uh, to June. But on Tuesday, the Federal Housing Financial Authority announced in a major statement that they extend the moratorium to at least August 31st. It's, 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 a, it's a microcosm of good news because ultimately the concern is what are we going to do with that $600 per week? Uh, most states pay less than $380 per week for uh, UI or PUA benefits. Many states pay just in the hundreds of dollars. Uh, California pays about 170. Some states pay 130 per week, and no one thinks that's going to to, to keep people alive. What's going to happen is that come July 25th, that's going to be next, to be extended. Without that, there's going to be big problems. Also, in that same period of time, is the loan forgiveness period ends. Under the CARES Act, as you know, student debts, uh, student principal and interest was supposed to, is supposed to expire around July as well. And so all these things are coming up at the same time. Ultimately, what this channel has detailed earlier today in a second stimulus package was that some states are now devising ways to give additional benefits to its citizens by using money that it was dedicated, uh, given under the CARES Act, under the first stimulus package, and giving it back to the citizens. We detail in Idaho what they're doing. It is not the greatest plan, but it is something at least offered, which is giving $1,200 to its citizens ASAP, either $750 or $1,200, but it does have requirements to it. But it does show what Idaho and other states really have in the bank hundreds of millions of dollars that it never used from the CARES Act that it can pass back to its citizens. 
let's answer some of your POA questions from yesterday. Political will. Without the $600, you're going to have more people protesting the streets because the wealthy can't f- because the wealthy can forget about people starving. They're treating people like animals. Robert, if they don't extend the $600, we are in big trouble. Very well said, Robert. Shan shop, um, stop the politicians' paychecks. Mothers, hoping the unemployment is extended. At Lee's in Pennsylvania, the $600 is scheduled to stop on tw- uh, July 25th. It's stopping everywhere on July 25th. Uh, it's the CARES Act. It's a federal law. Uh, great thoughts. I hope you're right and, and um, these things are getting worse, says Judd Judd. Sarah Dunn, I'm starting to watch your updates. You're the best for thanking you for all the information. Thank you. Sharon Grant, I totally agree with someone commented on the other videos. They can afford to give us one-time payments of $1 million. Uh, I love that. Office email. I've been trying to figure this out. Thank you. Edward Norcott. So it took Brian's child to figure out what the 31st was on. This scares me. Who's running our country? Uh, Robert Henson, the $600 is for the federal government, not from the states. Uh, we love it. Oh, it just makes us rhyme. You know, thank you for Robert Henson for supporting this channel. He makes a very good point as well. Remember, federal government can afford to give you the $600. I don't want to hear the federal government can't afford to give you the $600. Why? The Federal Reserve under uh, prints money. The Federal Reserve can print money to its blue in the space, and it pays the printing of the money by issuing T-bonds, 7% interest, 6% interest. People want the T-bonds. They buy the T-bonds. So the Federal Reserve can finance all this. It's not a concern. I don't know where is the pushback from certain members of Congress for the $600. Marty Hurst, I don't know why they have to cancel her. It's been three weeks. I haven't gotten my stimulus checks, but $600 a week, it can't even pay my rent. McDole, how would that work? Congress is dragging their feet. How could the Fed extend it? The Fed has inherent authority, as we detailed in our first stimulus check video today. The Fed has inherent authority to issue stimulus checks. It says that it has uh, stimulus money already allocated under its inherent authority, but it did it in a, in a decision back in March. Hasn't used much of it. It fully states it hasn't used very little of it. So it has that money sitting around. It can do something. Uh, Carry can an employer fire for EIDL grant? I'll answer that later today. Kevin, still waiting for my FPC and UI appeal. It's been almost five weeks. Sean, it's always been July 25th in California. Uh, you're the best, says Shanar's Shanar's Samir says, you're the best on YouTube. Well, thank you. That's very kind. Clancy, um, 725 is the end. Unemployment extension's almost over. I can't find a job. I'm in New York. Will I get another extension? I hope you do. Bob Smith is without a doubt, this is without a doubt the best channel for stimulus updates. The rest are like nothing. This is absolutely great. Keep up the good work, Alec. Well, thank you so much. Um... Chris Napolis in Pennsylvania, they're chopping it off because the cycle ends Saturday. Wow. So there you go. I mean, yesterday's video talked about when does, when will certain states stop paying that last week of the $600 of FPUC based upon a calendar of when they pay their benefits. Some some states pay benefits stopping on Jan, on Saturday. Some do it on a Sunday. Some do it on a Monday. So Chris says it stops um uh, they're chopping it off because the cycle ends on Saturday. Maud, I lost my job because my doctor didn't want me to work because I have CPOD. I don't know what I'm going to do if they cut off the $600. Mothers, you are amazing. Terry, my problem is getting so much worse. Uh, Bert, did anyone in New Jersey receive PUA? Um, I don't know. If anyone's watching from New Jersey, drop in the comments below. Bert wants to know if New York, New Jersey has paid PUA. Clancy, hey, Ellie, I was wondering if I've not heard any congressmen publicly defend their long overdue vacations. Uh, boy, they are all in the Bahamas with their feet in a jacuzzi, sipping a Mai Tai and singing Mitch McConnell's greatest hits. It's just awful. Um, Terry, Ohio, 189 plus the 600. But you had that other thing, which I talked about in the second stimulus check video today, Ohio. Oh, excuse me, that was Idaho. Um, Wade Crocker, if everyone who's receiving the unemployment stops paying all their bills after July, I bet they, that'll get something going. I mean, it's it's very well taken. Mike Tran subscribed. Well, thank you for joining. Nesta Camacho. It's the thing about numbers. No money for the unemployed equals no sales for companies. They're open. By giving the money to the unemployed, they're spending the money in Walmart Target. This creates opportunity for more jobs in the companies and more money people are getting from working. Then they're spending money in the local stores, party shops, beauty salons. Since you now have a regular salary, you would not mind spending extra at the local store. As these local businesses get more traffic, many will have extra employees to keep up all the sales. It's all 
numbers game. Very well said, Nessa Camacho. Very well said. Thank you for your comments. Lisa Green, um, incredible. Robert Guglietta, people are hurting as if it is. Tank God, this is just most likely the pro-rated the days that you're eligible. Uh, Illinois only pays 198. Wow. Renato, Congress is going to go back to vacation, is going to go on back to back vacations during a crisis such as this. It's truly a display of their character and how abominable they are. It's truly horrific that members of Congress are on vacation now. They come back in July and then they go back on vacation in August. It's just horrific. Bob Gabe, I'm, I'll be glad to start a petition for term limits. Arlene, I hope Congress and the Senate get their act together. They need to stop this. If they stop the $600 in July, it's going to get really bad for everyone who's involved. I agree, Arlene. Uh, please think about your American people. I love your show and your knowledge for everyone. You give me hope that things will be all right. I hope this $600 is going to everyone get a check for it. Tank Dot, why don't people just go on strike and mob the Capitol? I mean, really, there should be a post dress in front of the Capitol. Sergio Roman, uh, thank you for your comment as well. If you have comments today, second stimulus check a video, drop them in the comments below, uh, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. This is one of three second stimulus check videos. Boy. Some really exciting details, even on a weekend. But stay with us next week because Tuesday and Thursday are just going to really hit the fan. As always, stay available for more.